look at um, popular or novel footwear styles because we found we find that in general um, shoes alter the load that goes through the knee with people that have knee osteoarthritis. So we looked at unstable rocker soled shoes. Um, here's one here, and we compared it to just a normal non-motion control shoe and also bare feet. And when we did that, we found that there was a reduction in the knee joint load in this particular shoe. So the next part of the study was to try to understand the mechanisms involved with um, the adaptive mechanisms involved in that. So with this study, um, it involved 3D motion analysis and walking in an unstable rocker sole shoe, uh, bare feet walking and just a non uh, motion control shoe or walking shoe. So we found that with this shoe that we had a reduction in the knee joint load with people um, that have knee osteoarthritis. So the next step was to find out um, how that biomechanical mechanism sort of worked with that population. So with this study, it was part of a much bigger study looking at another load reducing shoe. So with the 30 um, recruits that we got, it took about eight months to get those people through. So each testing session was moderately intensive and took about two hours for everyone to get through everything. <laughs> Forever, it felt like. Um, it took about a, an hour for each participant's data to be analysed. So about the only problem we had with this study was when we submitted it uh, to a journal. They had it for a long time looking at it. Um, uh, but after we contacted them, the process sped up a bit. So we found that um, in the group that had a reduction in knee joint load that they utilised three mechanisms to reduce the knee joint load. Um, they leaned over their symptomatic limb or the, the limb that had the knee osteoarthritis. Um, they also had an increase in the angle at the knee and they also um, had a reduction in the force coming back up from the ground. So in combination that reduced the knee joint load. Um, but we also found that um, the group that had an increase in knee joint load had um, a, a higher level of physical dysfunction, which meant that they may have had difficulty adapting to the unstable nature of the shoe. Uh, the, these shoes do reduce the knee joint load, but um, probably mainly in people that have slight to moderate dysfunction or physical limitations, not in um, people that have severe uh, physical limitations because of any osteoarthritis. So uh, because of the unstable nature of the shoe, uh, we're looking next at the effects on balance um, and functional performance. So whether these shoes can be recommended as a shoe for people with knee osteoarthritis to reduce their knee joint load um, and to make sure that they're not increasing their risk of falls or um, imbalance. Thank <laughs> you.